Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time everyone, we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Robots in Disguise Combiner Force Activator Combiner um, Class Optimus Prime and High Test. As you can see, uh, Optimus Sulker Mode, of course, we all know is semi-truck. Power colors we'll see is red, blue, all spark blue, silver. That's about it. Um, so basically, uh, basically this is the, what I'm sorry, basically, um, this is the form, obviously, that Optimus took on in the episode Collateral Damage from the Robots in Disguise cartoon, uh, when he was taking on Laser Reek. He and High Test, they teamed up and they defeated him. Uh, as for Soundwave, well, you know that Bumblebee took care of him. Uh, not easily, but pretty quickly once uh, Bumblebee was able to get all the Decepticon Hunters back and basically defeat Soundwave. Um, so basically, that's the story on that. So obviously, all the reloads are now. Of course, much like Soundwave, is, if you've seen his radio, basically you have him on top here. You know, he can you can turn high test around. This you push on it much you can and bada bing bada boom got cannons here got these missile launchers that you saw deployed already in the beginning of the video yeah that's a bit of a glitch on my figure so that's fine and you can, you can easily just click it on and then pop it off and there you go there's Optimus normally so let's take a look at high test I'll, um, plugging the flipping this in his ultra mode of course is a Cybertronian uh, mini tank. Primary close, primary coverage mostly blue, black, Autobot symbol for the game, and that's about it. And sorry about that. That was my girlfriend. Sorry about that. Uh, so I'll get to her in a minute after this is over. Um, but yes, yeah, so all in all, um, high test here looks pretty good. Um, love the colors. It's pretty good. He doesn't transform, obviously. Uh, now we know, of course, from high test's backstory, he was one of the mini cons that was under Soundwave's control in the Shadow Zone, you know, getting the Septicon Hunters, building Soundwave into what we already know, what he, what we know now. And he, he was the Minicon that betrayed Soundwave after trying to steal Strong Arms to Septicon Hunter um, a few uh, episodes prior. And of course, he sided with Optimus, as I explained, he took care of Laserbeak, he defeated Soundwave, and High Test went back to the Shadow Zone just so he didn't want to be bothered. So, but in my series, I might put a few twists and turns with him. Anyway, so that's another story. But anyways, tape what looks good. Ultimate looks great. What can you do? Know? All right, transformation, pretty cool. Flip this around, and as you do it, we'll split the the cans around, revealing his head. Fold these guys down, and you can lead them up. You can have his arms, but you can flip them around to give him arm cannons. And there you go, there's high test in his robot mode. Looks pretty good. Very stocky, looks awesome. Articulation wise, no head, no no arms, no legs, no waist. He's just a brick. He has humping action. <laughs> yes, I'm not serious. I'm not joking. He has humping action. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know if this is intentional or it's just me being an idiot, but anyway. What about the Optimus? The truck mode looks pretty good, it's just, I mean, it's meant to, well, of course, he, this is show accurate from the episode, yes. Uh, they had a few more details here and there, but I'm sure the Japanese version can clear that up, but anyway. So, vehicle looks good, what can you do? You can see his head there as a bumper, so what the hell. Transformation is very uh, interesting. First thing we're going to do is fold the cab down around and just basically click it into place and push the cab in at the same time. Um, sometimes these pieces will pop open, so nothing to worry about there. Untab the, basically you want to un unlatch these little pieces here and raise them up, the, the arms where the cannons are, tur and turn them this way and turn them down that way to reveal the arms. For the lower half, fold these guys down, fold these, close these panels up, and fold down the foot. Do the same thing on the other side, like thus. 
and then then just pretty much getting situated as I've said over 9,000 times in a series. Um, give me a sec here, I believe. There we go. Basically, the cannons are meant to be popped out, but I'll, I'll talk about the weapons in a minute. So I'm situated like that. He has no heals, so fuck. Anyway. And there you go, there you have Optimus Prime in his robot mode. My god, that's pretty good, pretty awesome. I'll say that. Um, articulation wise, he has no. Oh, actually, sorry. He has head articulation. The arms will go, uh, they don't move at all, but well, they go up the side, bend of the elbow. They can turn in and out, but that's due to transformation. No waist. The legs can go only out to the side, that's it, and the foot articulation, but that's all due to the transformation. You can bend his knee forward, but again, that's all due to transformation, but I'm not docking this figure severely. Unlike some other certain figures that I'm probably gonna dock in future videos. I'm gonna dock severe penalties to, to some figures, like, foot, I mean, not like giving them ha the hammer lick or the, or the, you know, but anyway. And basically, the best way to keep Optimus stable is spread the legs out just a bit, and he'll stay pretty, pretty perfect. Take a look at his head. It's, well, let's see here. It's very Optimus-y. Very optimus -y. <laughs> Similar to, the, to his head sculpt on his warrior class self, so... What can you know that? Weapons, you can have the cannons, this, you know, arm cannons. Like that. So there's that, you know. So you can fire away. You can also hold high test as a weapon in this in this mode. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll transform high test back to his his alternate mode as previously stated. Um, and that's the one thing I'm gonna say about high test. The only problem I have is the handle. At least on my copy, tends to do stuff like that. He can hold. He holds his. He holds the weapon pretty well with no trouble, so there's that. Um, and yes, it, 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 I mean, and Adam Beechin did explain why High Test and the other Minicons that were under Samwise's control, why they didn't speak and only spoke in bleeps and bloobs like movie Bumblebee. Well, okay, aside from the last night and the, and the end of, of the first live action movie. Who's that? So yeah, all in all, will I recommend getting Optimus? Honestly, if you're just for high test, I don't blame you. But if you, do, if you don't have an Optimus from this R.I.D. line, absolutely. He looks pretty cool, looks pretty astonishing. Fun to transform, obviously. Looks pretty cool. Um, high test is, is, is an add-on, is interesting. I just, um, I'm probably gonna give high, give high test to the Warrior Optimus, much like if I did with laser beacon sound wave, as you've seen in the uh, some of my films that I've done, and so anyway, so all in all, guys, good figure. I would I would highly recommend getting this guy. It looks pretty good. Um, just be careful with him standing and such quality and all that stuff. But all in all, Optimus here looks pretty pretty good. I'll say that. So yes, everyone, that is my video review of the Transformers generate uh, trans 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 Transformers robots in disguise. Combiner Force, Activator Combiner Class, Optimus Prime, and High Test. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video. And yes, so take care, everyone. See you soon, have a good day. I will, and I shall catch you all later. Bye bye.